channel so today i'm making a video on how i make my flashcards yes the ones that i'm always talking about the ones with the question on one side and the answer on the other and also how i store them which is very very unique so without further ado let's get into the video okay so to make this all you need is your flashcard and a black pen or any colour pen really and I also like to add in a green pen, a pink pen and a red pen but that's really not necessary and those can be any colours and you'll see why in just a second. To begin I'm, I'm gonna be showing you the first thing that I do and it's that in here in the top right corner I put the paper and that's just because it makes it a lot a lot easier to store and if I ever lose them and I find them again I know where they belong. So I'm just going to write it down over here, sociology 1, and I put 1 just so I know what paper it is. And then with the red pen, I will put what topic it is at the top. So I've already done my flashcards, so let me just take a guess of, or just rather pick a random topic, I will do... I'll do family. So I'll just put the topic there at the top, family. And then over here, and the sideways, I'm also going to write family. And this is only for the first card in each of the topic. So because this would be the first card for family, I'm putting it here. And that's because the rest of the flashcards would end here. And I would stick these out when I store them. Just so that it's sort of like a tab, so I can easily find that topic. Now, on the actual card, I'm going to write, let's pick one, let's pick Parsons. What does Parsons say is the use of family? Question mark. And so this, this is the front done. So now I'm going to turn it over and write the answer on the back. So I'm going to write, what does he say? It's for the stabilization of adult personalities and primary socialization. There we go. So now when I'm revising, I can see the question on this side and then flip it over for the answer. But only after I've attempted the question myself. So to store my flashcards, I just have this completely random cardboard box that I found. And I have all of my exam, or rather all of my paper flashcards in here. So if we just come a bit closer. So how I break it up is that over here, computer science and sociology here is all three sciences over here is maths and over here is going to be re those are the only ones i have left re and french i keep online so to store them i have them in alphabetical order and paper order so here's biology one biology two chemistry one and that's physics one i think yep so i can just take them out so if we take out biology one, this is just the first bit. But as you can see there, as I showed earlier, so biology. And I can just easily find whatever I need. Okay guys, so thank you for watching today's video. I hope you find it helpful and bye bye.